Say I've been grinding for a long time. Went through trials and tribulations, shit. I still kept a strong mind. I put it all on the line. I'm from the school of the hard knocks. Think so much that my brain hurt and see stars in the city. Yeah, yeah. I made something out of nothing. Had to run on my money. Had to run on my money. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, guys. So this video. It's gonna be an interesting video. Don't know how long it's gonna take me, but I will accomplish this modification. So, if you notice, a lot of Raptors and 250s have this. And what this basically means is it has the actual aux switches. So, F-150, don't come with this modification. Um, I don't know why. Uh, only Raptors and 350s, 250s, or whatever. Let's do a cold start real fast. <clears throat> Show you the supercharged. Woo! All right, guys. So before y'all get to the rest of the video, um i do apologize about this video guys it's going to be very very choppy because i had to edit a lot out unnecessary talking um this video was an hour and 15 minutes long and i got it down to 27 minutes because i didn't want the video to be so long and so boring so hopefully you understand guys and if you have any other questions please comment below i will happy to help you um and I'm the first one on YouTube with an F-150 adding the upfitter. So I did it from A to Z on how you're supposed to do everything. I didn't leave nothing out. So just make sure you enjoy the video, guys. If you have any questions, please comment below. That book is super, super duper, super duper looper, looper, looper loud. Man, it is hot here in Houston, guys. I'm gonna be sweating on this video, y'all just don't know. Uh, check it out, Miracle Whip 2.0. Make sure y'all subscribe, or follow. So as you can see, guys, you can see the big difference in this. Huge difference. Now it should be the same size, which it is, yes. Huge difference. So what I'm gonna do is actually install this on my truck now now i know y'all saying like is, is it plug and play yes it's plug and play but you have to do a lot of wiring like running wires so this video is sponsored by 2016 gray goose on instagram and i make sure guys have his information his instagram will be right there i have his instagram and his email address if you want to do any type of modification so and it goes from it goes from adding led lights from the platinum king ranch to yours it goes from uh man you can do anything like if you want to do the folded mirrors 360 camera all that stuff he has a way that all that stuff can be plug and play the guy is a genius because this is going to be like so close to OEM that the dealership wouldn't even know I added this myself. They're going to think it came from a dealership. So what we have here is the actual Raptor Super Duty. I don't know if you can see me, but it's the upfitter for a 2015 to 2019 F-150. So and this is something you have to order from Tesca, Tasca, whatever you say their name. And this part number right here is HC3T148303GB4 WA guys. And this is just basically the fuse box and then the actual wires that you hook up all your um, your lights and all that stuff. And y'all probably asking like why are you doing this modification? Um, it's a couple of reasons, guys. It's a couple of reasons why I'm doing this modification. 
Um, excuse the sweat because it's hot out here. It's like 100 and some degrees. Um, but the main reason why I'm doing this modification, guys, is because I want to have... It'd be easier for me to wire stuff, like if I wanted to go to the switch and all that. Because the, the, the rock lights and then the AVS bug deflector, I have it run inside the car. And I don't have to do that once I have this. And then I can know when everything is off. Like last night, I left my rock lights on and all that stuff last night. So, Alright, so you have... All right, you have what comes with the kit, guys. This video might be all over the place, guys, because I can't even function right now. It's so freaking hot. Um, the first thing y'all guys want to do when you're doing this outfitter modification, um, as you can see right here, uh, the first thing you want to do, guys, you want to disconnect the positive and negative, negative battery because... You will be messing around with the, the airbag right here. So you don't want that to deploy on you. Uh, and, I, and guys, this is my first time doing this. So I clearly don't know what I'm doing. So y'all have to improvise. So we're doing this together. The first thing I want to do is take off this A pillar right here. Uh, I think it's holding up by this. Um, but we'll see you guys. I don't have no clue. All right, guys. So, yes, this is one of them. And I guess... Oh, there go another one right there. I didn't even see that one. And I'm pretty sure it's a 10 millimeter. Uh, it's a common size for Ford. Hopefully, I'm right. Yeah, 10 millimeter. So we know this is 10 millimeter off the butt. So I currently have both of the screws out. Oh damn, oh, I guess that is it. <laughs> I was gonna see, I don't know if that's it or not. But yeah, it's that simple. And I guess you have to disconnect this tweeter right there. So I was complaining about the heat. Now it's been a freaking rain. But we're gonna still try to get this modification done. So basically guys, um, this black one is the one that goes to the top to the upfitter, of course. And this gray one is the one that goes down. And you have to uh, tap this into ground. I have my windows down. So let me hurry up and run this down and try to get this done real quick. Get this ground off. Try not to break the freaking windshield. And I'm probably doing it a little backwards, guys. I should have took down the upfitter first, but it's all freaking good. So you can see the clips. So that's the ground I need to do right there. All right, the ground is officially on. So remember, this is the A wire, this is the one that goes up here to the actual upfitter and this is the b wire right directly right here and this wire is the this is the wire that's going to actually connect to here guys i want to run this straight down you want to keep it closer to the firewall as possible and it's going straight down and look it's already ran to here. But let me get this part done first. So you, you snap this into here. Just like that, snip snap. Honestly guys, basically it for this part and all of this part is gonna do is just run up here like this. And that's really it. So this can hang right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put the the foam piece back down here because we're done with the pillar part. 
All right. Put this cap back on. Now we're gonna to proceed to the actual outfitter, guys. All right, so what you wanna do here, guys, you wanna hold the console, I mean, the uh, the headliner, and put your hand at the front, and pull down, and that didn't supposed to get pulled down like that, but. <laughs> it's okay. You're gonna remove one. Two. Oh damn, I actually broke this thing. Three. So we don't want to do what I just did. I actually broke it in half, guys. That is too freaking funny. <laughs> I broke the thing in half. Wow. I want to take off the the part where the visor goes on to that little snap part because I do want to run the wire. Whoa, the wire. Whoa. <laughs> that crap scared the hell out of me. I do want to ride the wire up here, uh, and that's my best option. So let me go get, it looks like a seven millimeter, so it's about to storm, so I have to put the windows up. Hopefully this is a seven millimeter, uh, pretty good at figuring out which ones is which by just looking at it, but let's see, oh yes it is. For a minute, I got scared there. I want to continue this video another freaking day. Uh, okay, so now I have enough room to actually bring down the headliner. Perfect. So you got this one right here, this one in the front. Exactly where it needs to go, so not mistaken. I might, oh no, wrong one. Sorry, it goes over here to the black one. All right, so that goes like that. The white one goes to the front. The black one that comes on the kit goes right here. And then this is for your backup window. So let's see. So my window, as you can see, it does close. All right. And then the lights already work on here, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna see if my lights work. And that will be it for this part. So the next part we're gonna get into will be underneath the dash and then all that, running the wires and all that stuff. So. I'm going to put all this in one video, uh, not going to separate it, but i see y'all when I get underneath the hood. As you can see, it's not raining uh, no more, so got the upfitter, everything works for the upfitter. So now we have to work on the actual B connection, and I'm going to try to speed up all this stuff. I'm not going to explain a lot of stuff because I edited the first part of this video while it was raining, and the video is already too long. So you have to cut the grommet, guys feed this through the grommet to the engine bay and then you have this look this goes all the way to the fuse box i mean the little uh, piece whatever i don't even know bcm on the other side uh and it connects up to this guys let me show you So it goes, I think it's the BCM. It's right underneath the glove box, guys. Um, hey, how you doing? All right. And then you just have to insert the pin right there. And it actually has the location. It's going to be the pin. The pin, of, I don't know if y'all can see that. Pin 16. This is that fuse thing I was talking about. So these are all the pre-wire 
uh, for the switches um, inside the upfitter. So this part right here, and this is the connection that goes to the B. I was telling you the B harness. Now look at my clothes getting all dirty. I still haven't ran the uh, B harness through the garment yet, man. That thing is harder than what I thought. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through here. So I'll, I'm trying not to remove the filter and all that, but it's gonna be hard because you have to run the wire all the way through here all the way over here to this area uh, but the advantage i do have my truck is lifted so i have a advantage there so i'm trying not to move the air box but i might have to remove the inner uh wheel wheel thing not 100 percent sure so when i finish running all this stuff i'll let y'all know how i ran it all right, so I didn't have to remove the air box. I just basically ran it underneath. Um, and the actual fuse box for the Raptor 250 is supposed to be a, uh, a freaking uh, bracket that goes right here. So I'm either wanting to get one made or I have to find the OEU one. And this is the actual the B connection that comes from the inside out here. So basically it sits, sits like somewhere like this, something like that. Um, and then now what I have to do, I have to figure out how is it, how this is ran, but I'm pretty sure it goes underneath here and it has all these little push pins i just have to see if it has push pin locations which i don't see so most likely i will have to zip tie it to these wire to these whole wires right here which it's not a big deal it did run it so way all the way up there so the advantage i really have guys <laughs> my truck is lifted so i don't have to get a lift or nothing all right guys so finally got the grommet i mean the the b wire through the grommet like literally took me forever to do it um it's not easy so remember the fuse box that i had to run underneath the truck this is the actual b grommet i mean a b connection and it just goes to this fuse box. All right, like that. So I did contact uh, 2016 Boosted Grey Goose. I'm just gonna call him Grey Goose, guys. I ain't trying to say his whole Instagram name. Um, so I just contacted him about the power of this fuse box you can go direct the power but he's just telling me uh just to be safe it's best to get like a 200 uh amp circuit breaker so i did purchase that on amazon it should be here tomorrow um so i'm gonna go ahead and just run everything get it ready for the circuit breaker and then tomorrow when it comes in i will actually uh, install the circuit breaker. I have that link in the description below uh, where I bought where I bought it. Well, obviously you know. And then I have to just research he on the uh, bracket for this. All right, guys. Different day, same vlog. Um, so I know a lot of people in the comments gonna say this is a stupid mod. Why would you do this? But I want y'all to see it from my point of view. Um, so I still have a little couple things to do. Uh, I gotta run this to power, but I'm waiting on that circuit board, circuit breaker thing, cause I just wanna make sure nothing happens if something happens. It's just extra caution. I don't want my uh, stuff to get burned or whatever. So I know I'm gonna have a lot of people in the comments saying, why are you putting an upfitter in an F-150? You don't need it. But you gotta understand guys, when you have a lot of stuff added to your vehicle, custom wise, you wanna add stuff like this. So look at all this wiring. I had all this wiring, so I, I just cut it. So 
this is all was hooked up to my actual positive battery right here uh, the only red wire I'm gonna have running is the rock light that's going to connect over here so I can run the wires over here but that's the rock light for this one side now was it a way I could run that wire underneath probably but I didn't so I ran it through here I'm just gonna hide the wires clean it clean it up you won't be able to see it but now look at all this wire this is what I had going into the uh, truck that's the kill switch for the compressor that's the train horn switch so right now what I'm doing is this is gonna be the compressor right there right so I'm gonna cut it and all this wire goes bye bye the guy that helped me with the actual 360 camera guys uh, Anthony he's gonna help me pin those three pins because I'm just not comfortable with it um, yeah I'm just not comfortable with it so he's gonna help me with that finish all the wiring man it's crazy how much wire I got rid of by doing this modification so I got everything right here labeled so I got four items uh, cleared up all the wire the boxes right here I got to get that custom uh, mount made which will be soon and that will be go there so now all I have to do is run that one wire I was telling y'all about remember it's one wire that has to get pinned and that's this wire right here so I'm going to have to run that wire all the way to the passenger side all right guys so the wire is officially through so now all we have to do is actually pin it i think it's the bcm and then that will be it I don't have to put on the switch. That's how I have it in my charger. But I hooked it up to my remote wire. Yeah. <laughs> for my amp. <laughs> yeah, it'll work. Alright, so that's pin 16. And that one's between what colors? Um, it's on the end, but you can check pin 15 is right next to it, which is blue brown. Uh -huh. So, yeah, blue brown. Okay. Right here, and this is empty, so I'll just okay. 16 goes right there. And then also check pin 14, which is blue white, which is your ignition. So that's good. I'll just have to cut these zip ties, redo it, and get them on. So, as you can see, of the first, the other part of the clip where we was installing the pin, so now everything is wired and here are the six wires, and they're easily located right here. It will say relay uh, one through six. So these are the ones. So I'm about to install these right now. And um, let y'all see how everything works. So this is an awesome mod and all that. And then once everything's wired, I'll show you how it works. So everything is wired, as you can see right here, the four. And then I still have two more switches, two more switches right there available. Now I did order the custom bracket to hold up the, uh, the fuse box. Um, and this, let me show you how this stuff's gonna work. Well, and then the battery guys. So I need to check the mail because the circuit breaker that I ordered to I got it on positive now, just for now, but I want to add a circuit breaker in between that because just in case something happens, I don't want nothing to happen. Um, but that's pretty much it. So as you can see, you don't see the AVS on and you don't see the rock lights on. So I got those on number five and six. Oh, hold on. Is it on? Oh, I got to cut that this, this key on. So as you can see up there guys, the switch, the switch is on, right? So once you cut the car off, the switch comes on, you see? Right, if I do this, it's train horn. Y'all heard that, compressor. 
So a trade horn compressor, you hear it back there. And this is the rock lights, the AVS lights. As you can see right there, right there. But what's cool about this go guys, let me show y'all something. So if I cut this, the, here the compressor, if I cut it off, it cuts off automatically. So no, nothing is on right now, right? So train horn, nothing, right? So if I go underneath the hood, let me cut five and six on. So five and six is the rock lights and the AVS. Now they have this option. They have this option in the fuse box. If you want five and six to always stay on, put the camera down right there. So if you want five and six to stay on, it's a fuse. Stay. You see this number five fuse right there, guys? I think you just either swipe it over or take it out one of them and the fuse stays. I can't remember which one it is. I think if you swipe it over or take it out or something like that, I can't remember. I took the fuse out and you just slide it over. See that? Slide it over. And you insert the five fuse back in and number five and six can stay y'all hear it making that noise five to six can stay on at all times so now let's look at the rock lights see and then right there so number five and six stays on i think that's pretty cool because uh i like to personally i like to stunt like at nighttime i like to leave my f uh these lights on and my rock lights on at, at nighttime so basically i could just stunt a little bit uh showing people i have lights but let me double check and make sure train horn still ain't working see nothing else is working compressors but this stays on so i would have to cut those off but if I wanted to, I can leave all this other stuff on and it'll cut off when I cut the engine off. Uh, I know this video is long, guys, but I explain everything step by step. Um, so y'all can have the full thing of the video, man. So I do apologize for how long this video is. I'm going to try and knock it down as much as I can. But other than that, guys, that's it for the video. This is Robert YouTube, the budget. Peace.